Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is a fun one and it's basically how would you view you if you met you? Let me explain what I mean. So basically, um, we see people and we see life through our own filters. And when we do shadow work or we do internal healing or, you know, when we grow and evolve, whatever it is, um, those filters will change. And depending on how deep we've met ourselves, we will meet other people. Depending on how much we see within ourselves, we'll see other people. If we see life in a very light, prosperous way, we might see other people in the same way. If we have some insecurities, we may, uh, you know, project certain things onto people. These things happen. And um, what I find is sometimes we can see the best attributes in people and we can really see people deep, but sometimes from another perspective, we might not be able to see ourselves in the same light. We may be really good at introspecting and getting deep, but we may not be able to see ourselves in the same kind of light. So what I wanna to do today is kind of duplicate you, if that makes sense, and really look at you through your own eyes. So if you were to meet yourself, if there was a clone of you, um, if you were to meet yourself, how would you view you? What what lens would you see? What attributes would you love? What would you like? Like, what would that feel like? Um, what would you love about you, basically? How would you view you? Uh, and I thought that was quite interesting. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I have four piles to choose from. Pile number one is the Bumblebee Jasper. Pile number two is the stone that I picked from the beach. Pile number three is the chrysoprase. And pile number four is the orange calcite. So see which crystal you are drawn to. The timestamps are gonna be in the description box as usual. If you hear little noises throughout the reading, as always, that is my cats running around and playing around. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at how you would view you if you met you. Um, I'm just, I don't, I don't, I feel excited about that title. I don't know. I like to say it, you know, when you come up with something in your brain and you're like, wow, you're a genius. That's how I feel saying that. Um, anyway, let's get in. Uh, Bumblebee Jasper pile, please spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. If my pile number ones met themselves, how would they view them? If my pile number ones met themselves, how would they view them? If my pile number one, first of all, I think one thing that would stand out for you guys is you'd recognize the warmth. Like, I feel like you'd feel like you were very warm if you met yourself. You know what I mean? Like this person's really warm. Um, I almost feel like invited in. And I feel like you'd feel like that. Um, there's almost this feeling as well that I feel like you'd get because the warmth that I'm feeling, I hope this makes sense. Um, some of you guys may live in, you know, like a hotter country, but I'll just try and explain. But if you live in a colder country, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like when you were young or, you know, even now you have to get go out for work or school or whatever. And your bed's really, really warm, but you know getting out of the bed is like really cold. But that feeling of warmth. And then when you wash your face and the, the water is like hot and you're like, oh, I wish I could just have a bath right now, have a shower right now. Like, I wish I could just, oh, like, you know what I mean? But it's like cold. Like, that's the way I feel like I, I, I want to describe you in regards to how you view yourself. Because that's the first invite in energy. And why I felt like I wanted to come over to you. It's like I feel held. It's because I keep, I feel like I'm getting sucked in. You know, when you've been in the shadows and like there's been a bit of a chill, but then the sun comes through the clouds and it just hits your face and you're like, oh, that's one thing, like the initial feeling that you'd feel from yourself if you met yourself, like you'd recognize it straight away, you know, pile number one, please spirit guides, how would my pile number ones view themselves if they met themselves, how would my pile number ones view themselves if they met themselves, knight of wands, how would my pile, ooh, 
what have we got page of swords oh god i almost fell off my chair <laughs> sorry guys i almost fell off my chair um page of swords okay i literally almost like fell backwards i had to grab the table pile number one please spirit guides pile number one We have the tower. Pile number one. How would my pile number ones meet? How would my pile number ones view my pile number ones? <laughs> if they met them, how would my pile number ones view themselves? And we have the high priestess. Am I putting this upright, upside down? Upright, okay. You know what's interesting about the high priestess as well is when it dropped. It, I don't know whether it was me, but the card kind of bent like that. Um, which is making me think of like two sides. Like there's two sides to you. We have the judgment card at the back of the deck. Okay. So straight away, the first thing that I feel like you'd feel if you met yourself is once again that warmth. But there's almost this like... Your soul bleeds through everything that you do. Like you have a really warm and inviting aura. And I feel like you're somebody that when you are speaking or when you're conversing with people or when you're really connecting with people, it's almost like you, your energy, it's almost like shining through. It's like a golden energy. Um, and I want to say the word integrity. And I want to say the word, um, oh, what's the word? Not unique. What's the word? um individuality that's the word that i wanted to say like i feel like you guys are an individual so i don't feel like you guys get swayed too much by other people's opinions but one thing that i i'm strongly picking up as well um is when we've got the page of swords here and then it goes into the tower card it's almost like i keep cause you're someone that analyzes people so i feel like you'd analyze yourself if you met yourself and i keep seeing you watching you watching other people and it's almost like I'm how do I put this into words it's like I've got this bright R and I've got this bright energy that's like kind of bleeding out that draws people to me and I see you guys like in social settings and stuff like you guys are people that are very polite and very kind and very sweet but I see you analyzing and it's almost like oh that person just picked up something because you read people and I feel like if you met yourself you'd see yourself and be aware that you know that version of you reads people so it would be like oh they're picking up on something because i almost feel like i'm watching someone's demeanor change i'm seeing somebody kind of like maybe fold some petals in like i'm gonna keep this guarded i'm gonna keep this to myself um and i see you really um because i keep seeing like an eyebrow raise so i don't know if sometimes you guys are like raise an eyebrow or your eyes are very expressive um but i see you kind of like reading into people or looking into people and it's like picking up picking up that so i feel like you'd read yourself in the sense of oh they've picked something up or oh that they're, they're holding that back or oh you know they're being careful what they say there and to be fair that's good that they're doing that because that person's quite sly or that person's this so i feel like you'd be aware um of and you'd pick up on your movements like that but then i feel like that's where the high priestess was folded it's almost like there's two sides to this person like there's a lot that maybe they keep under their belt or there's a lot that they keep to themselves and i feel like you guys would really really like respect that and also like respect that boundary of like there's more to this person there's a depth to this person um and i feel like it would give you that level of respect you know like when you see someone you know um like imagine like you'd go to like an event or something and there's one other person that you know and that person's like on to something that you are and you do like a nod to each other like i can't obviously my face isn't on the camera but you'd like nod at each other like Oh, I picked that up. So I feel like you'd click with yourself quite quickly. And I feel like that'd be that kind of like nod that like, I see you. I see you. Um, because there's something about that where, I don't know if your moon um, is in the 12th house or the 4th house or the 8th house or your moon is in a water sign. Um, I would also say maybe an earth sign as well. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But it's almost like I've got a lot of thoughts and feelings, but I'm keeping them at bay. Um... And it's almost like I'm just expressing what I need to in this environment. So I feel like you'd be super aware of that, to be honest with you. Um, and I keep seeing somebody just, you know, like an eagle or a bird, like 
they'll stay up in the sky they'll stay up on a tree they'll stay up on a post and they'll just kind of observe and watch i feel like again there's loads of like respect going there it's like oh i get this person i like this person you'd be like you'd see the intelligence you'd view yourself if you met yourself as very very smart and very very intelligent you know what i mean and very like on to something um like oh you can really read the room oh you can you know you really know what's going on here oh you really see deeper and there's kind of like that level of respect because it's almost like you're kind of like a quiet leader and i feel like that's how you'd view yourself you're a quiet leader so you're not the one standing on the stage saying look at me look at me you're the one that is controlling the whole show but you sit back and it's like i'm just i'm watching i'll let them think they're in charge type of thing that's how you'd view yourself and not in a bad way i mean if you want to view it in a bad way you can but it, it doesn't feel like that it's more so think of it like the great gatsby when he was making those big uh, parties and then no one knew who the guy was who was making these big parties that's the vibe that you have which when you look at that then it's almost like I'm not living through necessarily too much of a big ego. Like, I'm not living through too much of a look at me. Like, I'm not doing anything for clout. I stand on what I say and I move the way that I want to move. I'm not going to fake. I'm not going to do that. And I feel like you'd see that about yourself. You'd kind of view yourself as the Great Gatsby. You'd view yourself as, as somebody like that if you met yourself. Um, and it's kind of like that natural kind of respect where I feel like even other people, if they don't consciously read you the way that you read yourself, because I see that you see things quite deep, um, naturally that is that quiet level of respect there, but they may not understand where it's coming from yet. They might not understand that you do that, you sit back, you observe. But I feel like you do, you know what I mean? And I, I feel like... Um, I don't know, there's just a lot of respect. I, like, I feel like I like that. It's like, oh you read like I do you know what I mean like you you really do see do see people um and I think as well it, it's interesting because it's like I feel like you'd see yourself and then I think that would be more apparent than maybe projections other people place on you because you'd see other people put projections on to that version of you um and it's like oh wow how can you be so confident being so wrong like how are you projecting that onto that person that they're moving like this when they're moving like that where whereas if they were you know let's say being fake they would be on the stage and making everyone look at them if they were being you know sly and in a negative way like you say then they'd be moving chess pieces to make negative outcomes but they're moving chess pieces to make positive outcomes so what is going on there like i feel like you'd see you know like oh so fab it's so close like i feel like you'd be interested at the projections then that are placed onto that version of you like you're all kind of missing the point you're just not seeing it you know what i mean like and i feel like you'd enjoy that in a way like oh my god like that person you'd find yourself really cool like really really cool and smooth because i'm seeing um i remember in this friends episode and uh if you haven't watched it monica she had a boyfriend who was like a lot older and he was quite smooth and um rich and all of that and when he couldn't get a seat at like a restaurant he would like tip the waiter and like do like a smooth thing with his hand and give him the money to like you know get a seat and then monica tells chandler uh oh, rest in peace chandler I, I was sad about that news um but when monica tells chandler uh about how you know her ex used to do that he tries to do it but he does it all like unconfidently and then the money kind of falls i think he gives him change if i'm not uh mistaken so he gives him like coins instead and i'm sure there was something like that um but yeah i feel like you'd be the smooth one that other people may try and like mimic that in a way um but i feel like you'd see yourself like that like that smooth smooth operator smooth person um i just feel like you'd see yourself like that to be honest with you and i feel like you'd see yourself as someone that's in touch with a higher power whether you'd straight away pick it up like oh you're connected to spirit you know you're connected to source or whether you would see it as oh this person's just like super intuitive and can really read people um or you could be like oh this person could be like a psychologist like this person's like really intelligent and they can read deeply um that could be different in regards to how you may think that um because i feel like sometimes with you guys it may not be completely um obvious that 
maybe if you are connected to spirit deeply or you do work with spirit that may not be obvious of a first appearance so you may not even see that about yourself yet so you may just be like oh this person's really intelligent and then you'd see that or more implying you know you'd, you'd get to that um but you definitely see yourself as really intuitive um you know what i mean oh you're picking up on this you're picking up on that that's quite interesting um and of course because like attracts like you'd feel like that hearty resonance there because i feel like you really feel into things and i feel like you'd feel uh you know you <laughs> you know what i mean to be like this person's genuine i like this person so yeah um let's pull your oracle cards pile number one hi Vader. if you hear noises it's Vader scrabbing a box that i left for luna um, okay so we're gonna pull your oracle cards now i never used to like these cards like i just couldn't resonate with them and that was like i think back in like 2021 uh late 2021 i got them and now i resonate with them really strongly so i like that because it, you know it shows this energy is moving within me and i'm i'm growing and shifting but whatever shifted made me like these cards so yeah um, I don't know why I said that, but there we go. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. How would pile number one view themselves if they met themselves? How would pile number one view themselves if they met themselves? You see yourself as so intelligent, though. I just heard in my mind, this person's remarkable. Like, I just heard that. I don't know if that's something you'd say, but that's how I felt. You know, when you watch a TV show or a movie and obviously the characters are more exaggerated and it's like, this person's remarkable. Like, that. that's the vibe that I got. Um, so, yeah, remarkable. You'd see yourself as remarkable if that came through. So we have guide, light, and attribute. Not light, attribute, sorry. Represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. See how it's the owl? Like, you'd see yourself as extremely, extremely wise. And the fact that we have the guide with the purple energy of the crown chakra. Um, yeah, I just feel like you'd see yourself as someone that has a lot of wisdom. I would also say somebody that has a lot of patience, too. Because, like, I would say emotionally intelligent. Because I feel like sometimes in your everyday life, like you, I feel like sometimes you may be put in situations where people may try you. And you could easily, if you weren't, you know, connected to your emotions like that, you could be like... Ah! but instead you're like interesting noted like you're very like that it's like I'll use that if I need to or I'll move accordingly and I feel like you've noticed that about yourself like this person's very emotionally intelligent like this person knows what they're doing with people or this person knows how to read people um but yeah with the guide and you know there's a lot of wisdom I feel like you'd see within yourself if you met yourself I feel like if they like you as well, maybe somebody that doesn't speak too much, but when you do, it's like you drop truth bombs or you drop like seeds or you drop knowledge. And I feel like if you heard yourself talk, you'd be like, wow, like your brain. Like, I feel like you'd be very like that. Like, wow. Like, where did you learn this? Like, whoa. I feel like you'd, you'd really feel that way. We have the Avenger. We have the light attributes again because it's upright. Desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. You know how like Batman and Superman, like they wear costumes because it's like, I'm going to save the day, but you'll never know it's me. <laughs> like, I feel like you kind of um, have that sort of vibe to you. You may view yourself in that way. Like, like you could help somebody out, but not announce it. And then it's like, wow, you really helped out that person. But you don't say it out loud. Like, you don't go and, like, run your mouth. It's just like, I didn't do it for show and tell. I did it because I care. Whereas, like, you know, somebody else could, like, do a minuscule of what you've done and then raise it from the rooftops. And if people want to talk about things that they do, that's fine. I'm just saying it from a perspective of, like, I feel like you drop something or really help someone or, you know, do something like that. And then kind of brush it off and be like, oh, sorry, don't say anything. And I feel like you'd see that and be like oh wow like you're, you're very genuine like that's the vibe that i'm that i'm picking up i feel like you root for the underdog too or you could even be the underdog so you root for other underdogs so if you met you it's like oh another underdog rooting for you like it would be that type of vibe and then you know the other version of you would look at you i'm being shown the spider-man meme where they all point at each other uh and you're like you're the underdog and i'm rooting for you like there's kind of a vibe like that coming through 
um but the green that you know representing the heart chakra i feel like that's why you got that like integrity vibe coming through and that genuinity uh coming through pile number one how would my pile number ones view themselves if they met themselves we have oh i don't know if i'm allowed to say this word actually so i'm i'm not gonna say the word just because i really don't know with youtube with words because you know what they're like so i'm just gonna put a crystal over it but i'll just tell you the light attributes i feel like you can kind of guess from the image um but the light attributes are accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit accentuates the challenge the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit you could be somebody as well and because i feel like one thing you've noticed about yourself is that you have a story like i know that person's got a story i know that person's been through some things or learned a lot about themselves or inquired a lot about themselves to get to where they are you'd recognize it because of course you would have done so within yourself but what i will say is that you know you may have had time periods in your life where you had to be a certain version of yourself or act a certain way um and it's almost like that's that how do i make this make sense it's almost like i'm speaking of that version of myself or i'm talking about that version of myself in a light way like i don't judge you that you're doing this because i once had to do that and i don't judge you for moving this way because i had to do it's almost like and this is just you now i feel like you're the type of person where if somebody acts out of a trigger or somebody acts out of an insecurity you'll have your boundaries but you also understand where a lot of people are coming from because you may have been that once or you may just be able to understand them from that perspective and i feel like you would view the other version of you you know understanding other people and do you get what i mean and it's almost like oh wow you understand it because you've been through that and you managed to you know stay true to yourself you managed to stay within your heart space so you'd see that integrity there like oh wow you know what i mean um and then we have the saboteur at the back of the deck light attribute highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life i feel like you guys are your own cheerleader and i feel like you'd recognize that within yourself like this person doesn't need anybody to validate them that's why they just sit and observe like they don't need anyone to validate them they don't need anyone to do that and you you'd see that and be like this person's right from within you know the lauren hill um saying like how you're gonna win when you're not right from within you'd see yourself and be like that person's right from within that's a good egg you know what i mean it's funny the good egg thing come came in from Willy Wonka because when I put this tracksuit on today I felt like you know the the newer Willy Wonka not the one in cinemas now but the one with Johnny Depp and um the mother with the blonde hair she wears like a tracksuit she's the daughter of the one that turns into a big blueberry I felt like her today I was telling my cat Luna I was like I feel like that girl today and then Willy Wonka reference came in but yeah you'd see yourself as a good egg 100 percent and someone with a lot of integrity so pile number one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at how would you view you if you met you um so you guys chose the beach stone i'm gonna start with harrow and we're gonna get straight in so pile number two please spirit guides pile number two please spirit guides how would my pile number twos view how would my pile number twos view themselves if they met themselves how would my pile number twos view themselves if they met themselves this is the first thing that i'm getting when i'm looking at the stone and obviously it has the little marks on it i feel like sometimes you may put yourself down for things that you've been through and maybe you know certain things you do in regards to like the way you talk or the way you sit or the way you eat or like i mean you know, like little things that you may think of yourself like this is an imperfection and i feel like if you met yourself you'd be like that 
literally is so cool that that person does that or that person is really unique when they do that or I love that that person, you know, I, I don't maybe love that the person went through that, but look what they've got from it. So I feel like in ways that you may view yourself in regards to like shortcomings or like this is a flaw, I feel like you really strongly see that actually it's not a flaw and you love that about yourself. You know what I mean? Um, that's something that I'm picking up. The only way I can describe it, when I first started YouTube and I was filming like my face on camera before that, I was very insecure. And I remember thinking I have the chubbiest cheeks. I didn't like my cheeks because, you know, I was like, oh, I, I really don't like my cheeks at all. And then when I started filming and watching my face, I was like, that's like my favorite part about my face because when I'm smiling and I'm doing expressions, like my cheeks like light up. And I was like, to, to this day now, my cheeks are my favorite aspect of my face whereas before I hated them like literally didn't like them and it wasn't until I saw myself when I was editing myself and watching my videos back like oh my god your cheeks are so nice like I, I really like that why are you heavily contouring them and trying to get them away they're like the best part so there's something about that that would stick out for you if you if you met yourself like that's like the best part of you what do you mean um so if you have like an insecurity like a strong one or there's something you feel Mm, I'm flawed in this or I'm flawed in that it's almost like there's something there that I feel like you'd view like oh I love that you know because that stone if it was just like a smooth stone you know what would be the point but it has all the marks on it for a reason it's unique um and it has a story I don't know what beach this washed up from you know what I mean it washed up on my beach but I don't know where it came from so it's got a story you know what I mean and that there's something about that that I'm getting from that uh pile number two how would my pile number twos view my pile number twos if they met themselves how would my pile number twos view themselves if they met themselves we have the emperor how would pile number two view themselves if they met themselves we have the devil how would pile number twos met themselves uh meet how would my column twos view themselves if they met themselves? We have the star. How would my column twos view themselves if they met themselves? We have the eight of swords reversed, okay? And the back of the deck, we have the king of swords. okay i'm hearing this doja cat song it's called shine i think and she the lyrics are ruby red bright and she's like shining so bright something i don't know something about that but she's talking about shining and just like i think she just come to fame at that point and she's just singing about like being like a bright energy and, and shining and standing out um and i think that's one thing that i feel like you would straight away pick up in regards to if you met yourself it's like maybe it's the way you dress or the way you talk or there's something about you that naturally I feel like you guys are very unique that's straight away the word that I want to say and I feel like you guys naturally stand out and I feel like if you met yourself I feel like you really ego boost and champion yourself like oh my god you need to like flex this like you need to it's almost like you'd see how do I make this make sense <sighs> you'd see all of these attributes and it's like no we need to advertise this like no we need to shine this out like that can't just be away in your pocket like you need to shine that out like that outfit can't just be in your like closet like that like you put outfits together so well you need to shine that out like you need to let that sparkle and kind of personality out like you need to do that and it's almost like you'd see all of because i keep being shown like a kaleidoscope you know when you have like all of the colors coming off it or when you have like a crystal and you can see the rainbow and the crystal and then it shines off i feel like you'd see so much beauty and it's like oh you need to be more vocal about this or you need to be you know super out there with this like you're so good at this you're so good at this and I feel like you'd see all of these things and I feel like it could even then project and reflect back into yourself because obviously it would be you meeting you. Like, I do this too and I do that. I should shine this out because I'm seeing it on this person and it, and it works. You know what I mean? Like, they, they really are shining that energy, like, bright out. They need to, like, you know, like the peacock with the feathers. It just, like, fans out. I feel like you'd encourage yourself 
almost be a little bit protective of yourself <laughs> and encourage you to a uh, hold space for you to like shine that out and i feel like in turn that version of you would obviously be you too so then you'd shine that back out to yourself and then there would just be two peacocks together but that's what i'm being shown like i feel like a lot of you guys there may be like some insecurities on certain ways that you do things you may have had a lot of people project you know onto you like don't shine that bright dim your light tone this down and i feel like maybe you've taken that on as this isn't a good part of me or this isn't something that i should you know talk about but i feel like as well even if there's parts of your story that you're like mm, i don't know if i want to talk about this for you to get from like and i'm being told to say this from you to get from like a to z the way that you did like that's the story and a half like let that be your story don't be ashamed of that story that you know you went all the way down here when you had to collect g but then you came all the way back up for um you know what i mean like you literally have so much to you i feel like there's so much depth to you and i feel like you'd almost like see these lights and then unravel it within yourself and then almost like whole space for you to like fan that out and project that out because i feel like there's so many attributes that i feel like sometimes they are insecurities and they're at they are part of you where you may shun but even when you shun things i'm actually being told this even when you shun certain aspects of yourself they almost glimmer through and I feel like you'd almost pull the band-aids off or pull whatever it is that's shutting that off and take that cloak off or take that projection off. Like, I feel like you really, this is a thing and you do this for other people too. You've had people in your life put you down and I feel like sometimes you will like big up people around you so that they don't feel, um, so that they don't feel maybe ways that people have made you feel. And I feel like if you met, yourself you'd like big 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 that energy you'd see that version of yourself peacock and then you'd be i'm being shown in the barbie movie at the end where barbie like oh my god what robbie barbie she like watches everyone like she saves the day in barbie world and they're all dancing and she's like watching and then she goes and dances with them like i see you guys seeing that and i feel like the peacock then that blooms it's almost like it would activate your own peacock blooming within yourself and then it's like i have these attributes too i need to shine these out you know what i mean um so i feel like you do that for yourself because there's so much like beauty to you that i feel like sometimes i feel like even coming into this reading you might have even been like oh i i don't know i view myself or oh i don't you may even like struggle as well of, like being seen people may think this of me people may project this onto me people may do this um but when we shine, we, we have these colours and, and we stand out, like, we're always going to have words said to us. We're always going to have random people projecting. We're going to have people telling us to tone it down. It happens. Um, and I feel like you'd see from the other perspective then, like, this person really shines bright. And I want to big them up and I feel like it would mirror back back to you because that version of you could say i'm quite insecure about this or i don't know if i want to talk about this and you'd be like what do you mean like what do you mean like um with the eight of swords reversed it's almost like it would naturally heal you and help you untangle your own kind of wounds there um and this reading may as well if you really like look at yourself like if i had saw these attributes on somebody else or if i you know what i mean even if you like wrote down like certain things about yourself and then write it back as if it was someone else i feel like that would even be like a really good exercise for all you guys because i feel like you'd see so many aspects of like i love this version of myself or i love that part of myself why was i toning that down or you know i am a lover boy i love a girl like i love to to be like that why am i toning that down or i i am you know a good performer and i am somebody that's you know likes to be you know a joker or lifting people up why should i tone that down it's like a great aspect of me and i feel like you really would bloom then you know what i mean because like attracts like you'd see all those colors in that person because you see them in yourselves and i also feel like even when you've had people that you know may not have even been the nicest to you i feel like you've managed to see the good in them you've managed to see the light in them and i feel like you do that because that's that's you on the inside you know what i mean like i feel like you see the good in people you see the light attributes it's like you big people up um, and you're doing it because you also have that within. So take a look at anyone around you, because I feel like you do it for anyone, and how you lift them up or how you make them feel good. You're seeing something in them that you see within yourself. That's why you're recognizing it. 
you're seeing that confidence in them because you too have that same thing you're seeing that in somebody because you, you you have the same thing there and i feel like that then would help you bloom you know what i mean and hold space for that and i feel like you can do that even with the people around you like i also have this and you know i want to bloom too you know uh which is really really interesting i feel like if you met yourself you'd, you'd go on a bit of a transformational kind of like process because you'd see the peacock and be like wow i have the same fathers maybe i'm a peacock too and then you'd you know bloom like that it would be really really beautiful but i do feel as well if you met yourself you'd be very protective over yourself i see it, it's almost like a big sibling energy i don't know if you're like one of the oldest siblings in your family or um you've always like looked after people i don't know but i see an arm going around someone and it's almost like i'll oh you know the sound on tiktok and it's like, like i'll look after you i feel like you'd feel like that about yourself like no we gotta bloom we've gotta you know bring that energy out we've gotta light that energy up like we've you know what i mean you'd almost like rev yourself up in a way like let's take that off let's take that projection off let's shine this out like you'd really do that but you'd feel very very protective um over yourself like i almost feel like i want to stand up for you or i want to like ha like i, I want to put like a shield around you in regards to protecting you from projections it's almost like i'm standing up for you like leave them alone you'd feel super protective over yourself 100 percent um you really are a light and sometimes you really don't see that because i'm getting with the devil and then going into the star like she's holding up her hands to like the sun there um and i feel like you'd see yourself like that like look at you lighting up the room like look at you like look at that brightness like you'd really really see that and then i feel like you'd see maybe you'd see the other people i feel like you would try and introduce yourself to other people like you because you'd recognize other people like you and be like you need to be with this i don't know if sometimes in the past because i keep thinking of like in a child in a teenager like when you were younger like you know 20s 30s 40s whenever i don't know if you had a um i feel like sometimes you'd be swarmed around people that would feed off your light sometimes and i feel like there were people around that had the same light within as you but sometimes you might not have been able to see it because it's almost like i see sometimes people shoving a cloak over you to dim the light so it's almost like i've got you here so you can't go over that it's almost like a spider when it gets this fly and it's like come here so i feel like you've dealt with situations like that sometimes um i don't feel like that's an energy you, you necessarily fall into now um but i feel like you'd almost like into because i keep seeing like when i'm thinking for you guys like it's going deep from the sense of you meeting you like you meeting you when you were younger you meeting you um at like a certain time period because it's almost like i want to protect you from that and place you with this group um and then it's almost like shield you from whoever this energy is like projecting onto you and i feel like moving forward where you are now you know being in friendships or being in social situations i feel like as you're blooming because i feel like you've been on a process of allowing your feathers to come out i feel like you know who to go to like like attracts like and i feel like you know who to step away from but maybe that was something you had to learn um because there's something about that like i almost feel like i'm going back in time and i'm like this person or these people that are like shading it's almost like i'm putting something over them or i'm blocking them from project down to you and i'm ushering you to people that are like you that's just something that i'm uh picking up but that's what i see if you'd meet yourself like it's like a protective arm come in this group with me you know come here like i look after you like it's that type of vibe um and i feel like you'd also see where certain people because it's not everyone but i feel like sometimes you feel like it's everyone but i feel like there's been certain people that have really tried to dim your light maybe because they were maybe the loudest you know what i mean and i feel like that's there so i feel like you'd be very protective over yourself like that because i it's like i know what it's like when people project so i'm gonna protect you so you definitely feel that's the word i would say you'd feel protective over yourself but you'd kind of be in awe like i just keep being shown a kaleidoscope with all the colors and it's like oh my god like you are a light you know what i mean i feel like as well especially if you knew the person that you were meeting was you you'd be like that's why they were that's why they were mad like that's why they were trying to dim my light oh i see i can see that. like i feel like you've got it you know what i mean like i feel like you'd see that like of course you were trying to project onto me okay like i can see it now <laughs> um like i i feel like you you'd get it like oh okay 
Pile number two, please, for it, guys. How would pile number twos view themselves if they met themselves? We have Ravel, light attributes. Challenges authority to affect social change, reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Yeah, this is why you stick out as well. You go the other way. Like if there's like a trend, I feel like you may not follow that trend or you'll make it suit you. The only way I can describe, there was this movie, it's like a tween movie um, that I watched when I was growing up. It was called Wild Child. And basically it was like a boarding school um, in England. And this girl from, I think it was LA, she comes to England um, to you know she has to go to this boarding school because she's been a bit naughty and she does not want to follow the rules she does not want to wear the outfits that they're wearing so when she gets her outfit she like tailors it um so she wears like heels instead of the flat shoes and she changes the skirt around and i remember seeing that and i was like oh wow you look really cool but i feel like you do that like you'll tailor things or you'll do things differently and i feel like as well people don't like change and people like to put things in a box so sometimes people will project onto people that do things differently because it's like well i don't have the courage to do that and i've been it's been drummed into me that that's wrong so why are you doing that and i feel like you're somebody that you know maybe you've had to learn for yourself maybe you had you, you know you didn't have like a strong control over you when when you were young in the sense of like parents you know maybe you were allowed to do what you wanted to do or you were taught to stand up for yourself or maybe you had to raise yourself that happens a lot so maybe you had to go through experiences that um you know may not have been the best but that's the way that you had to learn and i feel like for you guys there's certain ways that you do things and there's certain ways that you move that may not be how everybody's like let's follow the rules and i feel like you'd see that about yourself but in a good way like oh that person you know that person's like just and really cool or that person's doing that differently that's quite interesting like you'd see that about yourself and be like ah okay or that person's moving way differently to the way i move like you'd see that and be like wow so i feel like you'd get that it's almost like you'd be kind of like that rabble with a cause and i feel like you'd 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 love that about yourself if, if you met yourself like you really do do things different I, d I didn't think I was doing too much things different I thought I was only doing a few things but now that I'm watching I do a lot different and I, I really dance to the beat of my own drum oh like you'd see that and you'd find that quite you know interesting it's almost like I feel curious like that's quite that's quite cool you'd you'd be like wow like you're like I don't know I want to say the word wonderful it's like wonder like i'm wonder like it's wonderful the colors the lights like the aura that you that you have like there's so many aspects to you it's like wow you know like when you go into the sea and like when you think of the sea you think of sharks whales starfish sea urchins and you know all the little fishies but the deeper you go like you see some different looking fish like you see like those massive octopuses with a really long uh tentacles or you see like really pretty like angel fish and like you are like that and i'm not i'm not on about looks i'm on about energy like oh this person's like different like this person moves different i love this you know what i mean like i feel like you i don't know if you grew up somewhere and then had to move somewhere else like you know what i mean so it's like i naturally feel like i'm out of place so you may have had a different upbringing to people around you um or your your upbringing may have been different to where you grew up so like the other people where you grew up so there's a way that you look at things differently that gives you that kind of color if that makes sense um pile two how would my pile number twos view themselves if they met themselves i just keep being shown a rainbow aura and a crystal that's the way that i feel like you view yourself from an energetic perspective um we have the trickster light attribute transcendent convention stuffiness and predictable behavior <laughs> yeah you just do your own thing and i know back in the day within like tribes there was always that one person in a tribe that they would allow to just dress differently to the rest of the tribe do different things um you know act silly if they wanted to look at things differently and they kind of gave that person in the tribe a pass like you need to be this version i'm sure they called it like the sacred clown or something like that i may not be correct so don't quote me on that but i'm sure it was something like that um or they would just allow that person in the tribe to act 
differently and talk differently and be silly and they learn from that from that person in the tribe and I feel like you may have past lives like that but I also just feel that you really do like stand out I feel like you're here to make moves and make shifts or make changes um and I feel like you see that about yourself like love that for you I love that you know what I mean I love that you move like that or you do this differently like you'd really see that 100% pile two how would my pile number twos view themselves if they met themselves we have dilettante delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits one thing i will say as well is that you view yourself as someone that's very creative like I love the way that you do your hair. Like, I love the way that you do this. I love the way that you try this out. I love the way that you um, style that. Or there's something about you physically that you may express. Like, it could be, like, your tattoos. It could be the way that you do your makeup. It could be the way that you dress. And it's almost like you express yourself through... It could be your home, your home decor. It could be your car. Um, it could be your rings because i'm thinking of jewelry it could be your scents and perfumes like there's something about you that i'm being taken to hair as well like it could be one thing or it could be everything i just mentioned but i feel like there's something physically about you where it's like that's you like that's your thing like stand on that like that's your vibe that's your thing you know how i always say like celebrities they always have that thing ariana has her ponytails rihanna switched her hair for every era um I'm trying to think of other people I can't think of other people but you know what I mean like all artists or celebrities when they go big like they'll have like a certain style to them and there's something about that where I feel like you really shine like that you kind of have a star power like that and I feel like whether it's clothes you wear again there's something visual that it's like oh that's that person it could be your hair it could be your makeup it could be your clothes it could be the way you speak the way you move your hands your voice jewelry or tattoos there's just something about you there that's like oh that person's really creative like that person's really distinct like you could pick that person out like they shine out it's not just that aura it's everything um because you're definitely a creative like say now you were in in like college or school and you had like a class project like you'd think outside of the box so yours would be like wow look what that person did like that's the, just the vibe i get from you guys and then we have um midas miser um entrepreneur entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold delight in sharing life's riches so again you could be somebody that like with your upgrin upbringing, upbringing you didn't have x y and z you didn't have the tools you didn't have you know what non you know people around you may have like had their past set out with but it's like that gave you that gave you so much leeway it gave you the creative tools to adapt in certain ways you know what i mean like other people could have had that road already concrete with what they had mapped out but you didn't have the concrete and yeah okay you may feel like mm, but it slowed me down or it stopped me but it's like no because then you built that road yourself so not only do you you know understand you know all of that moving forward and work ethic or whatever it is moving forward but you building that road yourself you just were able to create and make that road what you wanted not what was set for you and because of that there's so much color there you know what I mean your road has plants growing out of it and you kept a little bit of a garden to the side and you had the cool you know artwork on there so your road looks different and colorful because you stand out and I feel like if you met yourself you really see and understand that and be like wow that's like great like I love that you know what I mean I love that oh my god and I feel like that would make you look at something in a different perspective so I don't know what they're talking about other people having like a concrete road but then they're stuck to it but it was there I don't know what it is that you might not have had but I feel like you guys you'd understand like the color and the creativity like you'd see all of that and be like wow love that you know what I mean you'd see it differently um so that is what i have for you guys pal number two i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you guys have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at how you would view you
if you met you so you guys chose the crystal praise i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle cards so let's get in apologies for the hairs right before your reading luna jumped up on the table um so yeah oh there she is again <laughs> this is luna guys say hi say hi everyone she's very needy at the moment so she may make a couple appearances um so pile number three please spirit guides the chrysoprase pile my pile number threes pile she's kissing your crystal she likes your energy oh she's actually sat down <laughs> um pile number three please for it guides well luna loves you luna likes you guys so that's a that's a great thing pile number three please for it guides how would my pile number threes view themselves if they met themselves how would my pile number threes view themselves oh sorry luna sorry sorry baby girl we have the hermit pile number three please for it guides how would my pile number threes view themselves if they met themselves? Pile number three. Four of swords. How would my pile number threes view themselves if they met themselves? Ace of Pentacles. How would my pile number threes view themselves if they met themselves ace of swords okay you hear noises this luna getting comfortable on the box the back of the deck is the three of swords okay okay the hermit the four of swords the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords first of all I feel like you trust yourself if you met yourself the reason that I'm saying that is I keep I I feel like I'm looking at someone and I'm going that's a real one like I feel like you guys may voice your opinions a lot or you guys just may stand ten toes down on what you believe in like you don't get swayed like I believe this it's fine if you don't believe that like that's cool but I believe this and then other people may try and convince you know you to be like Mm, I don't think you should believe this blah 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 and you're like okay well I just said I believe this I'm not trying to convince you not uh, to believe it if you don't like it's fine but like I'm gonna stand here so I feel like you'd see yourself as somebody that's very grounded and somebody that isn't easily swayed and I feel like in regards to that then you'd feel like you could trust yourself because it's almost like okay this person isn't just going to take on what other people you know may say about me or this person isn't just going to uh you know be wishy-washy and back and forth like you'd really see yourselves as somebody that's very strong I keep being shown an anchor so you guys would see yourself as someone that was very grounded and rooted in and somebody that speaks off of um out of integrity but I feel like speaks like you're very intelligent and I feel like you come to conclusions that's your conclusion so I feel like you'd see yourself as stubborn but I feel like you'd be like how do I put this into words for it guys it's like how do I put this into words it's almost like if you had a like problem you'd go to yourself if you met yourself like I want this person's opinion I want this person to tell me straight I want this person like I know that person's loyal if I want somebody standing up for me it would be this person like that's how you'd view yourself like kind of like an an older sibling or like a, a, maybe a parent but in a way of like I feel safe with you I feel like you're very grounded I feel like you're very rooted I feel like in chaos you're somebody that I could lean on and I feel like you'd you'd feel like that about yourself like this person's you see yourself strong strong-minded uh you'd also see yourself as somebody that's very confident but in those ways where it's like I feel like sometimes when we think of somebody that's confident there's somebody that's like out there and on stage and bring it in the crowds you have that confidence where it's like an easy confidence like you fund that energy from within and I feel like you'll speak on what you believe in because you believe it true for yourself and that's that if you don't like it I don't care so there's a level of confidence there like I don't need you to believe what I believe I just believe it you know what I mean whereas other people may be like no believe this believe this and you're like shutting it down like 
I don't, why are you trying to convince me? I feel like you're not trying to convince me. You're trying to convince yourself. Something like that's come up in another reading before and I may have, it may have been your energy, but that's how you guys feel. Like, I feel like when you, if you'd see yourself, it's like, no, that person's like a strong-minded person. You're somebody that has a very strong individuality and I feel like you'd recognise that within yourself. This person is the person that does this. This is the person that speaks their mind. This is the person that does what they want to do. Like, this is... You know in like a movie and you have like the cool person who just does what they want? I feel like you'd view yourself like that. Like, oh, this person just does whatever they want. They say what they want. They move like in a way. And it, it's not in like a quote unquote cocky way. Like you'd see it as like, oh, that's confidence. Like they're not cocky in the sense of I know everything you don't. It's like, I believe this. Cool. Like, you know what I mean? And I feel like you'd see that. And I feel like you may also find it humorous because I see you viewing yourself and other people like Okay, this has come through in a reading before, so I feel like I I don't know what reading it was. It might have been like what's the tea on you? It might have been the what's the tea on you reading. Um, but there was this one pile where people would try and convince that person of their viewpoint just because it's like if you believe my viewpoint then that validates me it's like they wanted that person's validation and I feel like that's the same energy coming through here so you may watch that pile where I've said it to you in in that reading but I feel like in every day just you in general not thinking of you view and somebody else just you I feel like sometimes you may feel like I'm on the attack like people are trying to attack me people are trying to pull me off my pedestal people are trying to differ my opinion all the time I don't understand why are people out for me it's not that and I feel like you'd see it if you saw yourself in person because you'd see yourself walking confidently you'd see yourself with your own opinions just sitting there minding your business you'd see people raise their head and see you listen to you and you'd see those people not being so sure of their own opinions but seeing you as somebody that they respect so you'd see those people then coming up to you and then projecting onto you or being like saying their opinions or trying to change your opinion or shift things because it's like if you agree with me or if I can knock you down then that means that my opinion was right then that means that I was right and it's like they're trying to convince themselves through you because they value your opinion they see that you're a value and I feel like if you viewed yourself you'd witness that whole scenario and be like oh my god I was seen as I was under attack but actually you really you really believe in me like you really um you wouldn't be trying to tear me down if you didn't think I was up in the first place like you'd really see that and see like see that around people and be like wow okay that's interesting and I feel like that would flip a switch or have you see things in a different way 100% um four of swords the hermit and the four of swords and then we have the three of swords at the back of the deck. So I feel as well, um, I don't know if you're like someone that doesn't trust people all too much. Because um, it's almost like I've got a hard shell, but I'm soft on the inside. And even when you look at this crystal, like it's got, you know, these, you know, the more harsher bit you know, on the outside, but then on the inside, it's got, you know, the beautiful crystal. So I feel like you guys have maybe in at times in your life, like had to harden yourself um, or had to really like harden your personality in ways because people have maybe taken your kindness for weakness. And when I say harden, I don't mean like being mean, but you've had to be very stern with people. And I feel like you'd recognize that within yourself too. And that's where I feel like a twinge in the heart space. Like it, it's almost like, how do I make this make sense? Because it's like, I'm seeing the softness in you and I see all of that beauty within you and I see all of that wisdom and that softness is still there. Uh, but then it's almost like, how do I make this make sense? It's almost like I understand why that shell is there. I understand why that is there, but I feel like it would mirror to you like why you had to put that shell up or why you had to put that guard up. And I feel like that in itself um not that it would trigger you but I feel like you'd see that and I feel like there'd be like a little bit of like a grief over that because I'm being told in your everyday life like you've maybe had to harden your shell but I feel like maybe that process of like why you've hardened your shell um I feel like you've just had to get on with it and feel like well this is the world and the world isn't always smooth and I have to have this shell on me to keep myself safe or I have to keep this protection up I have to keep my defenses up it's just the way of the world but I feel like sometimes you may not have felt into 
but I wish I didn't have to do that. Like, I wish I could just be, you know, the little sea urchin walking on the on the shore. Why do I constantly have to have the, you know, the shell on? I feel like there'd be a moment of that or like a level of grief that you'd see. Like, I understand, like, you have that harder shell, up, but you're so soft and I can see it. Because I feel like I'm, I'm watching you, like, be gentle with people and knowing who to be gentle with. And it's almost like... I wish you could be like that all the time. I wish people weren't always trying to chuck spears and do that. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you've met, been met with that. And I feel like because you're somebody as well, that's very confident and very bold. And you may say things that challenge the norms. You may say things that, um, you know, you, you know, you may, may be connected to spirits. So you say things that only you see. Or you're very deeply into perspective. So you see deeper into things. So the way you speak and the way you like talk about certain experiences or life other people may not be able to see yet and that's maybe why they, why they project and it's like if you could just see you know what I mean where I'm coming from and I feel like viewing yourself you'd be like no and I see all of that but then you've got to have those defenses up and it's like ah oh, you know what I mean um but I feel like you'd see a lot of your words as golden like there's something about your voice and the things you say like oh you speak very poetically or oh you like words just flow out of you or like you're a smooth talker or, like you know how to convince people or like you um you just ooze this confidence and you may not feel it in your everyday life but I feel like you just ooze that out because it's like an inner knowing and I feel like some people may try and cha challenge that because it's like they're seeing you on a pedestal and you'd have a field day watching people do that like I feel like it would amuse you like oh my god like people really do see me you know here and they're just trying to get my opinion off like I don't that that's kind of funny to me like why isn't your opinion of life or whatever this topic is enough for you why do you have to convince me and why is it me you're trying to convince like what's going on here like what what what, what am I doing that you need my approval for I don't understand and I feel like that would really switch your brain you'd be like huh okay all right um I also feel like you'd view yourself as having a very sharp tongue or very witty and I feel like you'd find yourself very funny like if you saw yourself um like in person I feel like you'd be like that person's really funny like that person's like really witty like you have really good comebacks you know what I mean um I just got shown Mars conjunct the moon I don't know if somebody has that placement but that's what I just got shown um some of you guys may have like an Aries first house or Mars in the first house as well or you may have your moon in the first house there's something about that coming through uh yeah that's another thing coming through do you know who you remind me of you know when Devil Wears Prada Miranda and how like what she said went and she'd go into like a uh, fitting room and they were talking about if she likes it she'll smile or she'll nod but if she doesn't like it she like purse her lips and then everyone's like waiting to see what she does and then she purses her lips and then they have to like change the whole collection um there's like a vibe of that like there's an air of that that you have that I feel like sometimes you might not see that you have and I feel like you'd witness that if you saw yourself in person and you'd be like oh like, I feel like it would amuse you like I didn't know I gave that at all but okay um there's something about that coming through um that you might not see um about yourself as well uh and there's something about I don't know if you wear like statement pieces, statement jewellery, you could be somebody that's quite flashy or you could wear very bold colours or you could just, your outfits or the way you do your hair or maybe even the way you do your makeup, there's something about you that's like bold, that's the way I want to describe it, bold, but it's almost like your aura but then it exudes in your creativity, so in regards to like how you dress, how you, you know, it could be makeup, it could be hair, it could be tattoos, whatever, like I feel like you, um you give off that I hope that makes sense uh yeah you give off this boldness there's something there with how you create yeah bold you view yourself as somebody that was bold um pile number you could have like a very confident walk too that you may not even realize about yourself like you could just be like well I just walk but then I feel like you'd view yourself walking in a setting with other people and be like, that person's like confident or bold. Like you may not be somebody in a social setting that's constantly on their phone. You may not be somebody in a social setting that 
you know shies away you could be like i'm coming for business like i'm coming for what i want like my head's up i'm looking around the room you could be somebody that makes a lot of eye contact um it's just something about that where you'd see that i know it sounds funny but you kind of remind me of my nan <laughs> like my nan is someone who is very confident very like you know when she's around and she will talk to everyone introduce herself to everyone and be like this is me and she'll just make these statements and i'm just like oh my god she's very i'm not like that but she's very like that and i'm just like wow i'm more reserved um but i aspire to be like her and i feel like you you and my nan would get along along and i'm gonna tell her i said that because she'll be very excited i mentioned her in a reading um but yeah i feel like um she watches them too so she, if you comment she'll see your comments but um yeah I know it sounds funny, but you remind me of my nan. <laughs> um, pile number three. How would my pile number three is view? Uh, how would my pile number three is view themselves if they met themselves? Ooh. See how that shot out? We have a lover. Great passion and devotion. Unbrid unbridled and riddled. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Unbridled appreciation of someone or something you like someone it's like i'm not playing games i like you if you're friends with someone it's like loyal to you bigging you up you know about it you're somebody that exudes passion there's a lot of fire energy here i don't know if you have a lot of aries leo um or Sag, but there's a lot of fire so it's like you exude passion it's like i'm bigging you up if i like you you know i don't do things half ass like i give my all if i'm creating a project if i'm doing something if i'm enjoying something i'm like passionate driven going 100 miles per hour towards it like i feel like you're one of those people so i feel like if you viewed yourself i feel like you'd see yourself as someone that's very ambition ambitious but very passionate as well um especially to people that you may be close with like you could see yourself defend a friend if they were mentioned and it's like oh that person I would trust that person, you know? That's just the vibes you give. Pile number... Oh, there's something in your life you're passionate about. And I feel like you'd pick up on that straight away if you viewed yourself and be like, wow, that person really is um, passionate about this and really good at it. Like, there's something about that. So there's something that could have your focus. Uh, 100%. Pile three. How would my pile number threes view themselves if they met themselves? We have, oh, this is a word I can't say. I had to blur it out for my pile ones, I think it was as well. So I'm going to cover it. But like I said to pile number one, the imagery, you might guess what the word is. Um, and the word is, accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. I can't say the top word because of YouTube. Um, accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit yeah i feel like you're not the type of okay how do i make this make sense you're not the type of person that would you know when you see artists go into the music industry and they're told to do certain things to get where they are um or they're basically told if you don't do this i'm gonna blackball you or you have to do this first and once you've done however many albums to this sound then we'll give you a little bit of freeway if you if it works out you're the type of person that would go independent to keep your own um creativity alive and you would push that way like i'm gonna do it my own way like i'm not just gonna sell myself out for you like if i if i want to do something if i want to grind or if, even if i'm in survival mode and i really need something i'm gonna find a way to do it where my soul's still intact i'm not gonna do it on anybody else's terms i'm going to do it through my own empowerment like i need to feel empowered and in control of what i'm doing um because i'm passionate about what i do and i feel like that's in regards not just music industry that was just an analogy but that's in everything like i'm not just going to um i feel like this sometimes with like i've i want to go on tiktok this is, this is just me to you guys having a bit of a chat quickly i'm just giving you an analogy from my perspective like i really want to join tiktok but sometimes when i go on tiktok and i see spiritual things on tiktok and i'm not discrediting anyone but i feel like sometimes things can be very watered down and i feel like sometimes it's very like like somebody pulled a fool card on a tarot video and went this person thinks you're a fool and i was like 
right and that was it that was just the video and i was just like mm -mm. so i sometimes feel like mm, i like you know i i this is sacred to me i like to talk a lot i like to bring a lot through i don't want to have to be a show pony for another app and that's why i haven't joined yet if you ever wondered if i have it i have it i just haven't posted so that's my struggle there so it's like until i know how to do it in a way that's like you know and there's lots of readers out there that do it in a in a in a way that's you know holds their integrity or whatever or they go deep and it's sacred to them too i'm just saying i haven't found a way to do that for myself yet so it's like until i know i'm holding off and that's the analogy that i thought i'd bring up for you guys as well because you guys feel like that like i'm not just going to do that for a check i need to be passionate about it it needs to fit me it needs to align with my morals like this is who i am and i'm not breaking on that so and i feel like you'd view that in regards to yourself like someone could offer you something uh you know like in harry potter when malfoy comes over he's the mean kid if you've never watched harry potter and he comes over to harry because he wants to be his friend because he's like you know the, the the chosen one and he basically tells harry to be his friend and leave ron and then harry just sees through him and is like i think i can find the right people for my own thanks and stays with ron and just shuns him and it's like ah oh, like i feel like you have that type of integrity there and i feel like you'd see that about yourself um pile number three yeah that's my view on tiktok like i i see a lot of people doing it like well and and being creative with it i just haven't found my way to do it well and be creative like and i don't want it to be watered down you know because uh, I talk a lot and I know those videos are small like little videos and I don't know we'll see we'll see how creative I get with it when I decide to go on it pile number three we have the alchemist light attribute transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom transformation of base motives and goals into wisdom yeah i feel like you guys are very passionate i feel like you guys um like you're the type that takes a leap of faith you're the type of person that will leap in the net will appear if that makes sense like you're one of those people uh 100 and i feel like people would see that about you like this person's ambitious this person creates something out of nothing like when this person wants something they get it you know what i mean and they'll pour into it there's a lot of reds here so it's like fiery energy uh, 100%. And then we have Gambler at the back of the deck. Willingness to follow intuition, even when others doubt you. Yeah, you just say maybe what people are thinking, but they don't want to say it. Like, you'll say it. And I feel like you view yourself as such. Like, this person's very confident, oozes confident, oozes confidence and can't be budged. You would, you'd view yourself as someone that can't be tamed. You would view yourself as someone that's stubborn, though. <laughs> you would view that like, oh, I really am stubborn. Like, I really am stubborn. <laughs> if I want to do something, I do it. If I don't, I don't. Like, that's it. It's black and white with me. Like, you'd view yourself like that, which is um, which is cool, I guess. That's what, that's what I see you guys um, doing. So, yeah, pile number three. That is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you um, enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal four, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at how you would view yourself if you met yourself. So you guys chose the orange calcite. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number four, please spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number fours how would my pile number fours i don't know if you've been seeing like butterflies dragonflies any type of bug with wings um but that's what i'm seeing around you energetically so i don't know if you know like moths um there's almost like a message there that i'm i, I feel like i don't want to imprint on um but it's almost like i want to sit back and allow that message to come to myself meaning you guys like if you've been seeing a lot of something, it's not a coincidence is what I'm trying to say. Because there's something about bugs 
um, bugs with wings and it's like that particular bug there's like a mean in there um, like butterfly transformation dragonfly you know ancestors and spirits are very close um, or they may be you know even bringing you a message there um, so pay attention to that um, I'm also being shown bumblebees as well like you could be working with like a specific deity and they're showing up and you know especially if you've asked for like a manifestation or something like that to come true or you've been working towards something they could be showing up in the form of this insect so um and you may not even realize it um but it also could be like a deity trying to work with you that's connected to that insect so that's not to do anything to do with the question it's just something that's come up um as i've opened up to you guys so yeah but i keep getting shown wings of of an insect so an insect with wings like a ladybird or something um pile number four please pile number four please spirit guides pile number four please spirit guides how would my pile number fours view themselves if they met themselves how would my pile number fours view themselves if they met themselves I feel like you would tell yourself don't bother trying to fit into the flow of everyone else you're on your own flow for a reason that's the first thing you'd say to yourself um we have the three of swords pile number four like i keep being shown like a, a field of flowers and it's like you're the type of flower that would need a different environment to bloom in so it's like stop trying to you know nurture yourself in a way that the other people around you may be doing it because you may need something different you know how the cactus grows in the desert because it needs that environment um and then a fern grows with loads of water because it needs the water like there's something about that like you could be a cactus around ferns or you could just like be a cactus and see a lot of ferns and just be like mm water though would that work you know what i mean I'm, I'm being around water all the time but i don't know if it fits me and i feel like there's something that you all almost want to pass a message on to yourself with because i keep being shown a note and it's like you don't need to mold yourself into something that doesn't doesn't align with you um that's something that i i feel like you'd want to say because i feel like you get get it like i move like this so why am i trying to fit myself in like this i'm meant to be this in a group dynamic i'm meant to be this in that this environment like that's why i'm here i feel like you'd see the bigger picture if you met yourself pile number what have we got temperance pile number four how would my pile number fours view themselves if they met themselves and we have the knight of cups I keep being shown somebody in like school or in a class and they have like a really really intelligent or really creative idea um or something that everyone around would be like whoa that's really good but it's like I'm not gonna put my hands up I'm gonna wait for somebody else to say it but then no one says it because they haven't thought about it that was your thought and then it's like I don't want to put my hand up though because what if they think I'm stupid or what if they think I'm wrong or like you may have like a funny joke to say but it's almost like I'm holding it in but I um if I said it, loads of people would find it funny, like loads of people would laugh, but I'm holding it in because it's like, what if it doesn't, what if it lands flat? Like there's a lot of what ifs and I feel like you would, kind of similar to pile number two, but yours is being read differently. Because it's almost like I'm, um, yours, okay, pile number two for a little bit of that reading went into, I'm looking at the inner child version of this person, I'm looking at the inner teenager version of this person or the younger version of this person. Yours is kind of being read in the same way, um, in the sense where I can see behind a curtain all that there is. And it's almost like, please say this, please do this, or please add that input. But for you guys, it's more, you have like really good input to put in here. You have really good ideas. And I almost feel like, if you met yourself, I feel like you'd see sparks of it and I feel like you'd pull at it for you to really uh, go deeper with it. Let me explain. So you could be in a social situation and, you know, you could be like in a group or whatever and you're all discussing something that maybe went wrong and you have a really good idea of how it could work. But it's like, I don't want to say it because I don't want to sound stupid or I don't know, I'm just holding that back. So you could go off to say something or you could add something in. And I feel like 
you would see that version of you and you'd pull at that spark like talk about it more like let me hear more of that like and you'd almost give space to it to hear that and then push it forward like yeah i really think we should do this too that's a really good idea because you have your mind i keep being shown like a lot of like uranus like aquarius energy coming through and i feel like you guys your minds move you may have like mercury retrograde in your like natal chart or something there's just you may have a lot of plants retrograde in your natal chart it's just the way you look at things that's different that i feel like there's such amazing outputs that you can put down and i feel like if you met you you'd see those sparks and i feel like you'd help bring them out like this is a really good idea i love the way that you're seeing this like your brain is so interesting and i feel like if you were viewing yourself because i keep wanting to say like in a child's teenager you when you were younger 20s 30s 40s 50s whenever it was i see you um it's almost like I'm looking from behind the curtain, like I'm watching myself, like in Christmas Carol, where he watches his past self. And it's almost like, no, speak up, say that thing or stand up for yourself. Like, put that down, like, say that, like, mark that down. Like, you need to get this out. Like, you're a creator, like, you you invent like that. Like, your mind's got so many cogs turning. Like, there's so many ways that you could add so much beauty or so much color or so much intelligence to this conversation like the layer you could add and that's your piece that's why you're here please say it like please add that piece down please stand in for that and i feel like you would if you met yourself i feel like you'd really encourage yourself to do that or you'd be like oh they were telling me this if you know if you spoke to yourself or they were telling me this earlier you'd almost usher that in because it's like a, I feel like you may do that for other people and hold people's, you know, hold space for people and allow other people's opinion to come in. But I feel like sometimes you may um, not do the same for yourself because, it, you know, you may feel like, mm, I don't know. But if you met yourself, you'd be like, no, you ne people need to hear this. This is a really good way of looking at things. Like you've got a lot of value to add. You've got a lot of that to add. Um and I think sometimes you may feel about yourself. This is coming through more in connections. I don't know if you do this. It's not so much about you and like insecurities or anything like that. This is more about like in connections with others. I feel like sometimes you may feel like unheard or like if I say this, like people are going to look past it or people have looked past it enough. So I'm just not going to add my value because I don't think people would care for that opinion so i'm not going to say no or i'm not going to stand up for myself i'm not going to make a mark or take up space when there's a space open for you to bloom in and it's almost like oh i don't want to be you know i, I don't want to take up this space i, I don't want to you know shift the conversation but i feel like you've got so much to add and i feel like you would recognize that within yourself if you met yourself and you'd encourage yourself to take up that space but it's more so about the way that you give to people or the way that you um it's almost like i want to acknowledge all that you do in situations as well like um you could be that friend that always has everything in your bag like you have all the you know make you know the paperwork for if you're going on a trip and you have the uh extra money in case anyone needs it and you know you have the first aid like you think of these things that maybe other people don't think of uh and it's like i feel like sometimes you feel like you don't get recognition for that and i feel like you'd see that within yourself you know what i mean um but there's something about like i want you to stand and jump into the circle so people can see the weight that you hold because i feel like sometimes you've had experiences where it's not until you left that people really felt your absence if that makes sense um and it's because it's like energetic energetically i feel like you do a lot but then you won't take up space physically so when you go you're missed so much you may find like a lot of people come back to you or it's like i really missed you or, or whatever it is because it's like people don't realize that where it's almost like i want you to vocalize like i feel like it's i don't know whether it's your higher self speaking to you now or whether it's you going back to your inner child in a teenager younger self and just going you need to vocalize this you need to like voice this out you need to let people know you know what i mean like all that you do or you need to not in the sense of like holding things over people's head but like you need to take up that space you need to put that artwork out there you've been working on it you know as like a hobby all this time and you've perfected it why aren't you putting it out there put it out there you've come to this conclusion why aren't you saying it say it like there's a feeling of that coming through for you guys pal and before where it's like say it like 
let people see you, let people see all that you are. Because I, I want to say that you're a very interesting person. And there's so many like colors there, and like there's there's so many sides to you. I feel like you have a lot of depth. So it's like if you open that aspect of you up, I feel like there's parts of you that you hide away. And I feel like if you met you, you'd see those parts, and then you'd be like, no, bring them to the surface, bring them to the surface. Let people see that. Let people hear you say that. People need to hear you say this. People need to see that side of you. You know what I mean? People need to see that that you do this or people need to... Um, I saw this tweet the other day and it was... Um, someone said, my friend is so, you know, like... My friend's like an it girl, she said. It was like a tweet. But she refuses to post pictures and she could be making so much money. And you know what I mean? She could be like an influencer if she wanted to. But she just doesn't do it because she's like shy or whatever. And it, like, I wish she did. And I like, I feel like you're that person where there's so many attributes to you that you may be like, oh, I don't know. Like staying humble or like, I don't want to take up space. Where I feel like it would be really fruitful if you brought it to the surface or certain aspects to the surface. And I feel like if you met yourself, you'd want to bring all of that out. I hope that makes sense. Um, so you'd pour into yourself to bring it out. And I feel like maybe some of the reasons you may not bring that out, it could be due to like insecurities. It could be due, due to not feeling here. So it's like, well, I'm just not going to say anything then. Or you may have had to neglect certain needs. So it's like, well, I'm just going to hide them back then. Um, or you may not, you know, have been told to stay quiet and not have a voice. So it's like, well, I'm just not going to have a voice then. And I feel like you'd almost like help heal yourself in that way and allow those attributes to come out. Because it's like people need to see you. People need to see all of these colours. You may have been drawn to pile too as well. There could have been like such similarities. Um, it could be uh, that you were drawn to both. It doesn't matter if you weren't, but there's something there but for this it feels more like there's a lot of attributes that you hide away that are like re like it's like you're smart you're intelligent like you have a really good idea like there's an inventor um i'm on the first wave like i'm but it's almost like i don't fit this is where it's coming from right it's like i'm the first wave but it's almost like i don't fit in here but you're here to be that layer you know when you make like a girl group or a boy group like singer wise you always have the lead singer you have the person that does the falsettos you have the person that keeps the tone low like you have like the different people you have the one that like belts like you have the different people that make up that group so I feel like sometimes you go into situations and you may feel like, well, that person does this, that person does that. So I'm trying, I don't understand how I could fit in here, but you're here to be uniquely you, to be that part of that group. And I feel like if you viewed yourself from another perspective or you would just, you know, saw yourself, it's like, you are that person in that group. Like that's you in that group. Like you need to speak up about this or you need to do more of this or you need to shine in this. Like that's that's your aspect. But I feel like... um maybe it's coming through now because maybe right now you're currently going through work and understanding your own needs and expressing them understanding what you truly like and want and expressing it so you're now finding like oh I just realized I'm a cactus so I need to be in the desert oh that makes sense oh, okay you know what I mean like I'm this type of climate or oh I've just realized I'm this type of flower and I need this so now that I'm given this I understand why I bloom more and now that I'm rooting myself more, I understand and I, I can bring the, this information through because this is my purpose, is this. So I feel like it's something you may have bloomed and blossomed into. Um, and it could be something that even you're working through and healing right now. And that's why it's coming up because it's like, this is why you're learning about this right now. So you'll understand the environment you're in or you root yourself in so you know that that's your role. It's it's awakening within you, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, 100%. Because I almost feel like there's a Little Mix song and I, I, I think it's called Little Me. And she said, she says, I'm thinking because it's the, the four girls, but they say like, I tell her to speak out, shout out or something like that. Like, I don't know. They're basically telling their younger selves like stand up and, and speak for themselves and shine. And I feel like if you met yourself, like you do that to yourself. Like that would be your song to yourself if you met yourself. Like I want you to bloom and show everybody all of these petals like you have something valid to say you need are needed here like the weight that you hold like wow you know what I mean and I feel like you you'd really shine that light on yourself if that makes sense and you'd really understand 
you know all that you do and, and who you are i hope that makes sense pile number pile number you know how when you're in an office you have a manager you have the person on reception you have the person doing sales you have the person doing admin you have the person doing the finances like yeah i keep being shown like a scenario like that so it's kind of like where do i fit in well you're here to dream big and be the creative you know like that's the vibe that i'm uh that i'm picking up pile number four how would my pile number fours view themselves if they met themselves we have the samaritan um light attribute refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore do you see how one of the girls is upside down and the other one's the right side up i don't know there's something about you guys where you really you deeply see people or you understand people or you see the answer to people's problems from a completely different perspective um and that's the point like that's why you're like that like you're meant to see it from a different perspective i feel like you've got a lot of value there um and i feel like you know it could be that you're like super connected to spirit and it's like oh i don't know if people wouldn't you know really want to hear my perspective because my perspective's too woo woo or my perspective's too out there but it's like some people may really need to hear that you know what i mean and i feel like you're that person to come in with that bit of information now you could be someone that's like super scientific and understands all of that i do not so i, I don't know what i could describe there but because you see life like that you could add like a layer to it and that's your purpose you know what i mean um like i always say with like incarnate and on earth like just because somebody is like super connected to spirit and channeling it doesn't mean they know all they need to know because they could also be like a scientist who's like you know super into like you know the true science you know because everything gets warped i guess um who's really into like that true science and understands that and that's their purpose because they're meant to add that layer and in the third dimension we need the spiritual side we need the scientific side we need the physical side you know what i mean we need all of those the emotional side we need all of it to create a big picture um and i feel like there's a, something you add that brings a layer that if you weren't there would be missing you know what i mean and i feel like you understand that and i'm being quite i feel like i'm being quite vague i may not be in vague like you may be like no i get this i don't know why i feel like i'm being vague but i feel like you'd understand that like oh my brain works like that because i'm that layer i have this to contribute this is what i do oh my god i get it now so why was i trying to like dry myself out like the cactuses when i'm literally a fern like i need to move different or i need to act different or like i need to pour into myself different like you'd see that differently i hope that makes sense um pile number four how would my pile number fours view themselves if they met themselves like i could channel something and you may get this like saying that you watch pick a cards you could see me or anyone else channel something and you would see what we wouldn't see like there's something you add that it's like but this 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 and this like you could see something in the cards that are laid or you could just pick up a feeling and you could relay it in a different way and it's like you would see it differently and that's why you're needed because it's like that's your layer you know um uh, we have the alchemist um transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom do you see how she's like literally creating science before our eyes in the picture like you're the type of people who are baking cookies to go and get that ingredient that no one touches on the top shelf and they're like no nah, don't do that that won't work you add it in and it's like the key ingredient that makes it taste so good and they're like what ingredient did you put in and the ingredient is something you would never put in something like that and they're like what and you're like yeah but it tastes good that's the ingredient <laughs> you know what i mean um and no one would have thought to do that but you're like let me try something like and that's in anything like you're just one of those people pile number Ooh. we have slave light attribute 
surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust for some of you guys it is a connection to spirit hmm i want to look at the shadow attribute with that though because when they come up upright i just read the light attribute if they come out reverse i'll read the shadow but i'm being told to look at the shadow too shadow attribute giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices that's quite interesting i feel like sometimes you may know at times like i don't think this is going to work or i don't know if i this is the energy that i 100 percent want to be in but it's almost like i don't know if i should add my peace because what if i make it worse and then it's almost like you feel like you go along with maybe what other people are doing or want sometimes and maybe that's something you're working on and, and working through or maybe it's something you've completely transmuted out of um and i feel like that's to do with you learning about your needs and what you truly want and your own desires um and i feel like that's a, that's definitely a journey a lot of you guys have been on and i feel like in doing that it has you out of the shadow attribute and into the light attribute where it's like no i'm gonna add my piece i'm gonna say my piece i'm going to just like trust that this is what i meant to do and this is what i meant to say and i'm just gonna go out on a limb and do this there's something about that or i'm gonna put in that boundary and you know make somebody do it my way because maybe they'll enjoy my way too i'm always doing every, everybody else's way what about my way so there's something about that that you guys um i feel like you'd encourage within yourself if you met yourself um in the back of the deck we have mentor light attribute passing on wisdom and refining a student's character yeah i mean look how he's got his arm around the young the young girl there it's like student and teacher and they look like wings it's like taking them under the wing um you as somebody that could teach people a whole lot and have people look at things in such a different perspective you see from outside of the box like you're able to go outside of the box think outside of the box and i feel like you'd encourage yourself to do that a lot more and stand on that you know what i mean and try something different i feel like you'd really you know um and it could even be like in a friend situation where you always all all go to that one restaurant but you're like you really want to try that other restaurant you've never been but you feel it's good but everyone's just sat on going to these same restaurants and you're like let's go here but you don't want to say it because it's like what if it's bad and it's on me but it's like no let's take the leap you know what i mean or why don't we go here for a change or why don't we do this differently why don't we all go and do this like i feel like you'd encourage yourself to do that a lot more 100 percent so pile number four, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.